Welcome to Profile. I'm your host today, Paula Hersey, and with me are some folks from WeCan. WeCan is an organization here on Cape Cod that empowers women. We're going to talk about the Pathmaker program today, and with me is Tracy. From WeCan, you are the program coordinator for the Pathmakers. Pathmakers, that sounds like somebody who is just forging ahead, doing something new, making a new path for their life. Is that what Pathmakers is about? That's exactly what it's about. Um, women come to us who are in transition from any kind of circumstance, any, any age, and they, they're ready to just take a leap forward. They really are ready to be on a journey. And they come and we pair them with a, a mentor who walks with them on that journey between September and June, um, provide them tools and resources along the way, and um, through the relationship and through the relationship of the whole group, um, lives are changed. Lives are changed. I love that. Yeah. So today we actually have a pathmaker and a mentor with us, which we is do. amazing. Thank you. Um, Susan, you are a mentor and Jen, you're the pathmaker. Susan, what made you want to be a mentor? I would imagine that's a pretty big time commitment. Uh, I wanted to become a, path, uh, a mentor for the Pathmaker program after retiring, after a 40-year career. We moved to New, uh, from New Jersey to Massachusetts, and I needed something to do, so for selfish reasons, I actually, when I saw it in the newspaper, I thought this is something I would really like to do. Um, right. It's been very rewarding for me, um, and I've met some fascinating women, both right. Pathmakers and other mentors. and people who work at WeCan and board members, just a fascinating group of people. That's great. And Jen, you're a new Pathmaker or in the Pathmaker program. I am. What are you getting out of the program? Mm -hmm. um, is, is it, uh, you know, more life skills or is it more career skills or is it a little combination of both? Uh, I'm getting a really good buddy. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's, that's great. Susan is my mentor. Um, yeah. And she does indeed walk with me along the path that I am moving. Um, so that's one big plus. Um, the meetings that we attend monthly, there are numerous uh, resources that are made available to us. There's people who come and talk about time management or talk about um, other kinds of starting your own business and some of the tools you might need. There's just so much information that's provided. Uh, and then there's other people that are going on their journey. So there's sort of, um, um, companionship or camaraderie with people sharing yeah. what their successes are or their lack of successes and, and, and it's, it's really cool in that way that you have people that are doing the same thing you are without the specific of exactly what they've accomplished or they haven't there's no comparison so right. it's encouragement through the other path makers as well as the mentors and then there's all sorts of programs that are made available to you and Geek Girls was one such oh yeah and Driven Women was another one yeah so there's, there's tons of, of uh, resources and, and just commitment to your success that's available. That's fantastic. So give us a little kind of, how do you get started in a Pathmakers program? It seems pretty involved here. So it's not like you just show up and, you know, no. you're a Pathmaker you're, or you're a mentor. There's some, I guess, hoops you may jump? <laughs> sort of, yes. Um, so we have information sessions there in the springtime, okay. um, usually throughout the month of May and partway through June. Um, so we'll have those for, uh, there's a lot of dates actually coming up through May and June. 15. For the new, yeah. and this starts when? This is for the program that'll begin in September. Okay, great. Yes. So um, people come to the information sessions, whether they're interested in being a pathmaker or a mentoring partner. Great. They learn about the organization as a whole. They learn about the Pathmakers program specifically and what the expectations are. Um, they make a decision about what role they want to play or if they want to make that commitment. And then they take home with them an intake form that's pretty detailed um, mm -hmm. and tells their story to some degree. And okay. those come back to me and I review them all and I interview everyone, Pathmakers and mentors. And then I select a group of Pathmakers from from those interviews okay. out of that process. And then the Pathmakers themselves actually choose the mentoring partners. Oh, um, neat. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of an interesting process. We get all the Pathmakers together for an initial meeting 
and we give them the intake forms or a portion of the intake forms from mm -hmm. all of the pathmakers. So they all go home with a whole, a whole pile to read mm -hmm. and they select um, three to five that they think they might be able to work with and they give me that information. And I arrange a kind of a speed dating interview <laughs> Oh, what evening. fun! <laughs> yes, um, they have about ten to twelve minutes to interview each of the people, and they, you know, we yeah. move them around, and um, and then we have a meal together afterwards because we yeah. always eat no matter what we're doing. <laughs> and, um, True. And then after that, they they tell me their top three choices. Okay. And for the most part, you know, there's a certain amount of chemistry that happens sure. on that night, and for the most part, we're able to give people either their first or second choice, um, and then we kind of pair them up and let them know who they're paired with and we're off and running for the year. That's amazing. So when you're you're out there speed dating, Susan, <laughs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> um, what are the conversations like as you're as you're trying to choose and I think if mentor and pathmaker as you're trying to choose somebody to spend a significant amount of time what are some of the synergies that you notice that that paired you with Jan it's interesting you have a few minutes together not a whole lot of time right. together you've you've um, you get the opportunity to talk to people and in, in, in my case with Jan this is my second year being a mentor yeah. but in my case with Jan I knew almost immediately that I was hoping that she would select me. Uh, we had a lot of things in common in terms of work-related skills, um, ability to communicate. Uh, she has grown children. I was right. fascinated to hear about her, her three grown professional daughters. Okay. Uh, the fact that um, she's basically raised these kids on her own. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was I think we clicked. We clicked almost immediately. And then when we were eating, <laughs> she was across the room and I noticed her looking at me a couple of times and I looked back at her and I thought, oh, I hope she's going to choose me. It's an enchanted <laughs> evening. It really was a, an awesome evening. It was just, um, it's very interesting. There was just this look on everybody's face. All the pathmakers were given the opportunity to hire their own mentor and right. it, everybody had sort of a glow about them, you know, this possibility it was just right. really cool and for me that was the experience this possibility how do I choose what am I looking for and Susan's right we did click I remember yeah. her saying to me oh I just need to spend time with you I really need to get to know you <laughs> and so she wasn't going to be my first choice based on the pill of uh, the papers that we you know right. and the responses but meeting and interacting with her it was almost a challenge to bring out what I needed to bring out right. in order to go further than right. I had been able to achieve on my own. And it's been tremendous. She's been, she's been a cheerleader in my corner every time I turn around. And when I don't call her, her face is right there with the words that she would normally say and the enthusiasm she would say to get over a hurdle or to move forward or to advance or open something and look at it differently, right. which is really extraordinary especially at my age, to take on a new perspective, and she's been giving that right. to me, which is just so, so cool. So you come back to that, uh, pathmakers and mentors can be any age. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Um, so, so what's the training for some of those mentors? I would imagine that you kind of need some confidentiality training and things like that. Is there a training program for mentors? Not exactly. Okay. Um, the main thing that we want from a mentor is that they are open and that they're good listeners okay. um, and that they understand they're not here to fix anybody. They're here to walk with someone okay. and to support them. That's right. the main thing. Um, but we do our workshops that we begin with in the beginning of the year. The very first one that we do is always on boundaries. And that's a workshop, okay. you know, at our monthly meeting where everyone attends. And so everyone gets to explore the idea together. And then we encourage the pairs to develop their own right. boundaries within a set of guidelines. Um, so that's, that's really important. Um, and then we offer, um, the mentors have a monthly meeting of their own oh, okay. each month. And that's for so support. So some peer support exactly. there for mentors. Okay. It's for support. And this year we've been doing some um, mini trainings, one of our communications liaisons. Um, has been offering mini trainings on different things like communication skills and handling conflict and you know all sorts of things like that. So we we use part of that time 
just for skill building as well. That's great. So when you're talking about the path maker and mentor, what types of skills are you gaining from each other? Because I imagine it's a two-way street where the path maker really thinks they're getting the best deal, but then the mentor's probably learning things about themselves as well, because now this is your second run through as being a mentor. What are you learning in this program? You learn how to be a good listener. I think that's yeah. the most important thing to be yeah. able. This is really supposed to be about the path maker. Right. So uh, the requirements really are that you have time and that too that you can recognize that this is the path maker's journey, that you are supporting the path maker's journey, helping her to explore and to think about choices that she might have, mm -hmm. trying not to impose your opinion about this is what should be done, right. this is what this is the way I would do it, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, and I think that can be a challenge for many people. Right. Um, but I think that's what works and that's what I've learned that works. And in my career, I mentored a lot of women because I was in a management role in a company that didn't have a lot of women managers. But this is different because it's more personal. Um, it's it's more than just career building. It's it's more right. their personal life, life than well, life building. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So are there there are things that you're pretty much almost at the end of this mm -hmm. session, right? So, mm -hmm. what are the maybe the top two or three things that you think that your life now has that didn't have before? Possibilities probably Poss the biggest one. What a great great thing. Yeah. I think I. I stopped myself too frequently. It was a, um, a way to manage all the things that I needed to manage and juggle. Um, um, so possibility is probably the biggest thing, and that just opens everything else up. Um, right. and, it, and a perspective, too. I mean, I have family and friends who you know, told me, you're wonderful, you're this, you're that. But coming from someone I just met with her experience and her background, Hearing that every single time I'm with her is uh, just so extraordinarily powerful. Um, it, it's, it's just been tremendous. It's very supportive and, and just a lot of encouragement to jump into things and see that you know, I actually landed on my feet. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the information sessions. Um, those are coming up. They're going to be in the months of May and June, mm -hmm. early June. They are designed for both pathmakers and mentors. What happens at these information centers? How much time? What are, what are people learning about the program? Mm. So we, um, we take a little time for everybody to introduce themselves and to yeah. say why they've come. Okay. Um, and then we talk about weekends programming in general. Um, so we give an overview of you know the different um, consults, workshops, things like that that we offer, and then we dive into the Pathmakers program and um, what that's like and what the expectations are. Um, it is it is a time commitment, um, right. and we want people who are serious about it and who are willing to, you know, go the full ten months and really really be active and a part of it. Right. So um, so we want to explain all of that um, and explain how how it all works. Um, and then take questions. Okay. You know. So it's it's pretty. They're pretty informal. Okay. But um, there's a lot of information sharing. Okay. Yeah. And it's imp it's important that people understand um, the value of the program and the commitment involved. Yeah. So out of you've been doing this for quite a few years now. I know that the Pathmakers program's been in existence for many years of weekends existence. Mm -hmm. Out of all of those years, is there a class that comes to mind that's just, <laughs> that, you know, I, I remember when this program actually first started. Mm -hmm. um, I did not have the time to be a, a mentor at that time, but I know a lot of my friends from American Business Women's Association mm -hmm. have stepped up and become uh, mentors for the program, and it mm -hmm. always seems like there's this, it, every year seems to be exciting. Mm -hmm. Um, is that your feeling? Is that of all? Uh, I mean, I can't imagine how many matches you've must have made over the years. Well, I have to confess, I haven't made all of them. This is my this is my first year coordinating the program. Okay. I was a mentor in the program the previous year, ah. and um, and then when they were looking for um, a program coordinator, I thought, well, this is just perfect. And Serendipity. So, yes. 
uh, so I applied for it. But I have to say that every year, and I've, I've noticed very much myself, that, that this year's group, very different from last year's group, but at the same time, you can still see the connections being made and you can see from the beginning of the year to the end, mm. you just see a real shift, I think, in the pathmakers. You can see it in the expressions on their faces, you can see it in the way they behave, the way they present themselves. Um, it's just, uh, you can watch the transformation occur over the 10 months. So I can't say that one year is any, has any more or less of that than another, right. certainly, but I know that it happens every year. And, That's and it's a beautiful thing to watch. When you think about it, where else do you get the camaraderie of a group of women who don't know each other before, who come to mm -hmm. a meeting every month, yeah. and we celebrate their successes? They could be very small successes. I got up and I joined a gym, or I got up this morning and applied for a job, and then there are successes from people who have bought a house or, you know, left an abusive relationship or whatever, right. and we all celebrate those successes from yeah. all of those people. And you, that you go through that for a nine month period. Right. It's, it's really powerful. So I guess one of my, my last questions is, what happens at the end of this? It seems like it's like camp and that you, you must have tears. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. like at the end of camp, you, you just, you don't want to leave, but you know that you, you've learned all these skills and now you're going forth. What, how, how does this, this program end? Is there a graduation or? It's not a graduation, but it is a celebration. A celebration. Yes. At which um, we eat. And we eat. <laughs> we, we eat. Um, we've been very fortunate that Epic and Brewster have been um, hosting us for um, a number of years now. Okay. And um, they do a dinner for us. Um, we have uh, speakers. We invite not just the people who are in the program, but the board and um, all the workshop presenters and all that from the year, anybody who's okay. been connected. Um, and we, um, we give out gifts to the, uh, to the mentoring partners and the pathmakers. We have an opportunity to hear from them together one last time about the journey they've been on. Um, so there's a lot of sharing and some takeaways at the end um, for remembrances. And then, um, so it's a real joyous time, right. um, as much as it is a little tearful. Mm, and, um, and then, you know, the individual pairs make a decision for themselves about right. how that relationship may or may not continue. And that's very personal. And so. so Jan, coming through the program, you're almost done with it. Will you become a mentor? <laughs> um, I, it would be, it's an attractive opportunity. My schedule right now is just sure. crazy. It would make it very difficult. I, I couldn't commit the time, but um, at some point, the prospect of walking with someone else could be fun. Um, but whether I become a mentor or not, I really like to stay connected to the organization. There's just right. so many um, diverse personalities and possibilities that mm -hmm. exist around the We Can organization. Right. And, and their reach into the community is, is enormous. And the reach back by the community into the organization is pretty extraordinary as well. And my relationship with Susan, I don't think will ever go away. Hopefully not. Yeah. <laughs> I've gotten close to her and her family and, right. and you know, keeping track of each other's lives is I think going to be important to both of us. Mm. And to close, you've now been a mentor. This is your second mentor, right? Yes, yes. Will there be a third? I'd like to, yes, okay. <laughs> definitely. And I've gotten involved with other aspects of We Can, doing okay. some fundraising and have been involved in the show house that we did last year. Yeah and the W3 program, so it's definitely an organization that I would like to stay involved with. I just, when I first joined, I thought, why isn't this national? Why isn't this just Cape Cod? Right. Because it's so, it's such a valuable program for women. Right. And the community embraces we can Families, as well. yeah, so the community. It's a win-win yeah. for all of us, I mm -hmm. think. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I loved hearing about the program, and obviously the success story of Susan and Jan <laughs> made my heart pitter-patter. It was, it, was, it was very, very nice to see that connection and knowing that um, the journey that you're walking together has been so extraordinary. Thanks thank again you. for joining thank us. You. Thank you for having us. I'm Paula Hersey, and this is Profile. <laughs>